Archaeology studies the past and it's an old discipline, but it also, especially in recent years, has really relied heavily on cutting edge technology, including 3D modeling of the objects that we find. From a picture, you'll only have one perspective, but using a 3D model, you actually get all the angles and it's just infinitely better. It's like having it right in front of you. You can manipulate it any way you wish. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotate, tilt, however you wish. You can make measurements off of it. It's a three-step process. The first thing we do is we photograph the artifact. We do it so it's from all the perspectives. Most of the objects are around 60 pictures. We then run it through a software called Agisoft PhotoScan. And the result is a photorealistic model. It's actually, in a way, much more engaging to be able to move this object around on the screen, to be able to zoom in, zoom out, as compared to, say, having it in an exhibit case behind glass. It's also revolutionizing the way we can share the things we find with the public. It's really not in the cards that we're going to have a brick and mortar facility where we can show these things to the public. This is the next best way to do it. In fact, in some ways it's better because anybody anywhere in the world can view these objects. Right now we have over 330 of these models that are posted where anybody can search. One of my favorite parts of being at UNC is working in the archaeology department. I, as an undergraduate, can see the entire process. I can see an object and I can see it actually come onto the web as a final product. It's just a, a great opportunity for our undergraduates to get involved with cutting-edge technology. This is a skill that is highly transferable. It's, it's a skill that can be used in many different uh, job settings and, and in many different ways as they continue their lives and careers.